So I'm here at DSCI with um, Todd Sterzinger, who's the newly appointed CEO of Galvion. Todd, some big news is, um, went out yesterday uh, about Poland. I wonder if you could tell me a little bit about that, please. Sure. Well, as you know, we've had quite a bit of expansion over here in Europe uh, recently with a lot of good contracts. So I feel it's very important for us to set up a European hub to be able to support all of our customers, primarily, you know, getting product out to the field much faster, logistical support and so forth. So uh, we are happy to pick the, the Polish facility in Katance, nice area of Poland, and looking forward to bringing more capability up in that facility over time. So looking towards the, the rest of the DACI event, what's the, what's the focus for Galvion, Todd? Well, Jamie, as you know, we recently announced a pretty large contract not too long ago with our NSPA customer for all of NATO. So really good to be out here and get reacquainted with uh, all of our country customers and getting them understood to what this framework could do for them. Um, quick, quick procurement. Uh, avoid a big long tender process so if we can get some of the other NATO countries familiar with the framework I think we could really do a good job of getting more on that contract uh, for NSPA and for ourselves. So I understand the NSPA contract is focused around the, the flagship Cayman um, product. What, um, what does that mean for the NSPA purchaser? How does that work? Well Jamie we went through the whole process with a sponsoring Nordic country um, so fully qualified, went through the whole tender process. Uh, the product has been through first article test. So it's ready to go. This is a really quick win for any um, country within NATO that would like to avoid a long drawn out tender process to get a really great product that's becoming a standard out there in the field. And I understand that the numbers are quite large now for across NATO for the for the Cayman products. Are we, are we able to say anything about how many helmets are in service? Uh, several hundred thousand will be procured over the next few years, um, and we're close to uh, over a million dollar a million installed base here shortly uh, across all of Europe of all of our helmets. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you.